It's been very warm and we've heard comments from the state media here saying they hope this is going to be a reset in ties between Manila and Beijing. And it's been no surprise really that uh, Beijing and officials here have welcomed the kind of language they've heard from Duterte. He, in a speech to Filipinos here in Beijing yesterday, said that he didn't want to see any more intervention from the US, that he didn't want to see any more military ties with the US, any more military exercises with the US. And he has said that China really is the only hope economically for the Philippines. That's what he said. He also talked about the South China Sea issue, saying that that was going to be put on the back seat in his conversation, his one-on-one -on -one with President Xi Jinping. So those words certainly welcomed here. A word of caution from, of course, Washington's envoy to Manila saying that this warming of ties shouldn't be a zero-sum game. But, of course, Duterte is looking for the economic dividend in all of this, and that is a top priority for him. All right, well, what are the implications of this closer Beijing-Manila ties for the region? They're very significant, particularly if the rhetoric that we hear from Duterte is turned into concrete action. Now, he did rule out military, joint military exercises with China, and he also ruled out cooperation on energy exploration in those disputed territorial waters. And you've seen actually the energy stocks there in Milena falling on the result of that. But we have seen those agreements now being signed on things like infrastructure financing, on investment cooperation, and interestingly on maritime cooperation as well as tourism. Those agreements just being signed just in the last few minutes. But President Duterte has had his welcome ceremony here in Beijing, and he will soon be having those one-on-one -on -one talks with President Xi Jinping here in China as this warming relationship uh, continues to blossom. All right, so those deals have been signed. You actually uh, heard about it, that at least. Uh, we're expecting like something like 25. About how many have been signed and sealed? Yes, that's right. We heard from the Filipino delegation. They were looking for around 25 deals on sectors including energy, telecoms and infrastructure. Infrastructure has been really key in terms of what the Filipinos have wanted to get out of this, particularly spending on things like railroads, railways and roads. And they've been looking to the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank here in China for uh, some support there. It sounds like they may have even got a $3 billion line of credit from the Bank of China to underwrite some of that infrastructure spending. And we're getting more details on these deals coming through uh, right now. But what we know is we've got cooperation deals on maritime, infrastructure investment, as I said, mm -hmm. and tourism, which is growing. We saw a 25% increase in Chinese tourists going to the Philippines last year. They want to build on that base. And they're also looking, of course, to expand their exports over to China, particularly when it comes to agriculture in focus very much is fruit on that line. All right, thank you very much for all of that. Tom McKenzie, live from Beijing.